So if you want to set more listed appointments, don't handle smoke screens as if they're an objection. Greg Harrelson again, and today I want to just give you some information on setting more listing appointments. Look, you know, there's a lot going on in our industry, and there's a lot of agents that have predominantly worked buyers for many years, and they're trying to figure out how can I get more listings just in case something happens with a buyer brokerage and whatnot, and buyer agents go out of business. And let me just be the first to tell you, I do not believe buyer agents are going to go out of business. I think buyer agents deliver such a significant value to the consumer. I think that we are going to go through some changes. We'll have to work through those changes, but it'll be figured out. But for those that are wanting to set more listing appointments, I just wanted to share and introduce some thoughts to you. Number one, in my opinion, the key to setting more listing appointments is understanding three things. You got to understand what a smoke screen is. You got to understand what an objection is, and you got to understand what a condition is. So let me talk about a smoke screen real quick, because this is what stumps most of the, most of the listing agents from setting appointments. They call a FISBO, they call an expired, and maybe the expired says, oh, no, we just decided we're not going to sell. Okay, I think that's a smoke screen. That's kind of similar to you walk into Macy's or Nordstrom's and um, and a salesperson comes up to you and they say, can I help you find something? And you say, no, I'm just looking. That's a smoke screen. Because we know as soon as you say, no, I'm just looking, 10 minutes later, you end up in a certain department, you actually try on some clothes, and you walk out with a bag of clothes. You are a buyer but you started off with a smoke screen. So you got to understand that 85% of the time when people are giving you some sort of like throwing up a wall of resistance, it's a smoke screen. It's not an objection or a condition. 85% of the time it's a smoke screen, but the majority of the time the agent listens as if it's an objection or a condition and then they stop. When you hear smoke screens, keep moving over, uh, keep moving forward. The smoke will dissipate and then you'll end up having a great conversation. Objections. You got to understand objections. Objections in my world is nothing more than a question that they're asking because it hasn't been addressed yet. Like, you know, they say, well, I'm not going to sell because the prices are just not right. That sounds like an objection. Okay. It, it's probably an objection more than a smoke screen. It's more of a, an objection, but they're not saying I'm not going to sell. They're, they're sharing with you conditions that they have, not, not conditions as they can't sell. I mean, they're, they're, they're sharing with you kind of what's on their mind, what's, what's holding them back. So now you know what to address. Okay, it sounds like price is something that you're sensitive to. In other words, you've got to maximize your price. You know, tell me what kind of price would you be happy with? Well, I've got to at least sell it for blank. See, you, so when you hear an objection, then you just say, hmm, that's something that's important to them. Let me probe, let me explore, let me ask another question. And when you do that, you'll get through the objections. So smoke screens don't have to be handled. There's nothing there. Objections, you handle them. Conditions, only 5% of the time is there really a condition. Like, like my spouse just passed away, therefore I cannot sell. That would be a condition. I'm ill. I can't move right now. My husband's in the hospital. Those are conditions, right? And so when you hear conditions, you try to understand, well, how long will that condition last? Is that a one-year condition, a two-year condition, a six-month condition? And put them in the appropriate follow-up. But that's only 5% of the time. Only like 10% of the time will it be an objection. 85% of the time, it's going to be a smoke screen. So if you want to set more listed appointments, don't handle smoke screens as if they're an objection. And understand objections are nothing more than them alerting you as to what's important to them. And accept that there will be conditions and there's nothing wrong if there is. Set them up on appropriate follow-up. That will get you more lists and appointments. Now, if you'd like more information on this, I, I would love to help you. And, and, and coach you, help develop your business with you and whatnot. I'm Greg Harrelson. I'm, I, I've got offices in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. 
uh, Greenville, Spartanburg, Bowling Springs, Wilmington, North Carolina, Columbia, Charleston, Conway, South Carolina. Look, if you're in any of those markets and looking to grow your business uh, in the upcoming year, please reach out to me. I'd love to just chat with you. Maybe I'll even take you for a cup of coffee, see if I can help you, uh, you know, set some good goals and share some information. And who knows, maybe we'll end up being a good fit in, in considering working together. Talk to you soon.